Hey guys, this is Polo here, and today I'm gonna do the review of the 1 to 1 44 scale high grade silver bullet suppressor. Alright, here is the silver bullet suppressor itself. Now, I gotta say, uh, well, first I don't have my turntable, it means me because well, it's a bit too heavy uh, for the base to rotate on, so I apologize if I have to uh, turn to right now. And speaking of heavy, this guy is really big and really tall. Holy crap. Like, when I finished building this model, I was to myself, wow, this kit is big like a Master Grade. And heck, some of the parts of this build also feel like a Master Grade in some sense. So, yeah, so that's bonus points for that, I guess. Okay, let's go on to review. So, yes, um, the Silver Bullet Step is basically a uh, mobile suit piloted by Benajo Links in the narrative movie. And uh, unfortunately, it only appeared for only about, what, like, two or three minutes in any movie. And all he did was just shoot this beam again once, exchange his arm, and it flies towards the, uh, to Yo Yo Jonah, if, if, if that's his name. Alright. Um, now, because like I said, he's really big and tall. Like, uh, I'll, I'll do a comparison later on and show you how big guy, this guy really is. But like, trust me, he is about the size of a master grade. So, let's just put it that way. And, um, now let's go into detail. So basically, yes, uh, in terms of colors, you've got the, um, kind of a purplish gray. You get the purplish black right there. You get the purple for the, uh, cockpit hatch. You get the white, you get the yellow for the V-fin. Like, okay, you get yellow for the V-fin. You've got, uh, uh, red for the cameras. And the, the cool thing about this thing is that, uh, these are not stickers. These are actually, oops, sorry. Uh, this is actually... A molded piece of plastic, like not only in the front but at the back as well. Uh, you can't really see it, but but throughout, throughout the whole camera, it is it is red from both sides, and you also get uh, the kind of a uh, greenish gray, and yeah, that's sort of the colors. Now to the stickers, um, you don't get a lot, which is uh, good, uh, but and it's even better than the, so the original Silver Bullet, which I can tell you. So the original Silver Bullet has a lot of stickers. This is this is uh, reasonable. You get the eyes, uh, so, sorry, uh, you get, the, yeah, yeah, it's really big, so I'm trying my best to, to show you guys the, on camera, it's the too big, okay, so, so you get the eyes, uh, what I did in the eyes, basically just put, use the panel and marker and outline the, outline the, uh, eyes, and that's about it, and it looks perfectly fine. Uh, you've got the black on the knees, um, uh, they're kind of a little bit, a little bit messy, I'll clean up later, um, you've got the purple, Purple, this purple on the uh, on the legs. You've got the purple on the. That's where the beam sticker comes from, but doesn't use it in the, in the, in the movie. Uh, purple on the the so, so called I guess side you call it like on the thigh armor. So both on both sides, you get white on the uh, ankle armor on both sides, and I believe oh yeah, um, you also get purple on the uh, thrusters on the back. And that's about it. Like that's about stickers. Not a lot. I mean, but it is big. But they're 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 reasonable for what they are. Now, as far as missing detail, well, um, not a lot of missing detail. Thin, which is good. Um, which where is it? Okay, the thrusters. Basically, the thrust, Basically, what missing detail I feel in are the thrusters. Uh, which this was the purple inside. So purple here, purple on the thrusters here, and purple like oh yeah, purple on the side of the thruster there. And yeah, that's. Pretty much about it, and yeah, because I literally like head sculpt in this kit, and it looks really menacing, so that's pretty cool. So, yeah, that's all it for details, and overall, it's pretty good. Alright, for articulation, well, it's standard. Uh, you've got a ball joint, uh, ball joint hinge in the neck, and it doesn't really move that much because of the design of the armor. And yes, I did sharpen the antennas on the head. Um, the arms, okay. They're, the arms are very, very similar to a mask, especially the shoulders, how they went together. So, the arms can move forward and back, sep oh, sorry, forward, the moment forward and back on a hinge, and then the shoulder is independent from the arm, it's just very similar to a mask read. And the arms can go out that far, rotation below the shoulder, double jointed elbow, and if I, if I remember correctly, the original silver bullet has a single jointed elbow and it's a 90 degree bend. That's, that's a good improvement. And okay, this arm is has a, has a swivel. This arm is, is, is another swivel, but it's not the same as this here. This one has like a uh, kind of a swivel system, just like the Hazels, if, if I remember correctly. This one's more like a traditional uh, gun kit, like a peg on top. This is more like a round, like a Hazel style uh, swivel. And the torso, there is no hinge in the torso, so you only get a ball joint out of it, ball joint on the waist. Oops. 
yeah, so that's a problem. The arms don't stay on it well, but, th but there's a reason why the arms don't stay on it well, which I'll show later. And I think you, probably, you guys probably know, probably know, know the reason why. Put the arm back on. Here we go. And the front skirt, back skirt, they're all stationary, you can't move. Uh, the legs, they can go forward that far. Not much back. Oh, someone back, yeah. Uh, out. Rotation hip. Uh, this this iron is not this diamond does not move. Double joint knee, but you only get about ninety degrees. But it is bulky, so that's reasonable. Uh, this armor here can move somewhat a little bit. I mean, it is it will pop off occasionally, but it's not a huge deal. But yeah, it's somewhat over what it is really. Uh, the ankle armor here can move on top, and then the uh feet are on this is high heels like. Uh, I don't know if it's a symbol, it's like flat feet like a double wolf. So it, the angles move forward and back pretty far, and they can go side to head, and they can rotate all the way around. And the backpack, uh, well, these, the, the, arm by the, the arm holders don't move, but these thrusters can move on swivel, and these thrusters can open up. And uh, this arm mechanism can move, uh, but I'll show that later in the gimmick part. So yeah, articulation, well, uh, the arms are better, that's good, uh, but the, I have to say, well, overall the kit is okay for the articulation, but oh, I do like, oh, I wish the knees can bend a little more, I mean, I'm fine with what they are, but I wish they can bend a little more. So yeah, articulation, it's okay. Alright, accessories, well, let's start with the hands, you've got two holding hands, you've got two open hands, which is neat. And you get the trigger finger, which is holding the weapon, which is the only weapon in this kit, the beam magnum. Which is, this is a, directly from the, the Unicorn Gun Destroy mode, in high grade form, yeah. So, yep, it is, uh, you do, uh, you do, do not get a stick of a scope, you, you, have, that you have to paint it yourself. Uh, and yeah, the silver bullet can hold, hold it like so, although, um, do the design of the beam magnum, uh, and, and the arm actually, uh, so it may look it's holding straight right now, but if you look closely enough, the B Magnum is slightly downwards, so it's kind of a little bit. It, it depends how you see it, but for me, it's not, it's not actually a huge deal. But for some people, it might be a little bit annoying that you can't move the yeah you can't move, move the B Magnum that up because it will it is hindered by the side of the arm. Yeah, that's yeah that's what accessories. Uh, not a lot, but I think but I'll show you the reason. What's the main reason why you want to get this kit? Which I guess you pretty much know right now. Alright, the main attraction itself of this kit, and this basically the, the main gimmick of this kit, is the arm swapping gimmick. Now, um, okay, so basically, what, okay, uh, how, how this thing works in the movie is basically when the silver bullet shoots his beam magnum, it is far too strong for his arm to handle, so it got damaged. What I do is just pop the arm. And you just switch out for another one on the back with this arm mechanism right here. So how this works, okay, I'm going to refer to the menu right now, so do bear with me for a bit. Uh, but I will try my best to uh, show you how it works. So, okay. Now, before I go on to the arm gimmick, um, you may notice that there are four arms in the back. But, uh, however, one of the arms can bend, while these three couldn't. So, um, I mean, it's perfectly, I'm perfectly fine with that, maybe because, well, if they make all the arms... Bend that would be that would cost a little bit more. So I'm probably fine if if one arm is bent, the rest of rest of won't need it. Because in fact, I, I think I think only one arm is enough for me, at least for me. Uh, but I did see someone out there who's crazy enough to go buy three three silver bullet suppressors and put the, like, just just to get three extra arms. It's crazy, but you know it works. Okay, so let's go into the, the arm arm swapping gimmick. So what's what first first first, first well, bleh, start over. Okay, so what I do is check out the armor first. As usual, and it's supposed to hold the beam magnum here, but there's no right trigger finger hand. Now what you do is, um, let's see here, you slide this out, and slide the the arm here, and then what you do is, uh, okay, it's it's like this at first. Now you just, so it's like this at first. You bend this down, and then you bend this up, then you bring this up. Uh, wait, okay, uh, you. Bring the arm, this arm up, like this, and then you turn the arm like that, and then you, whoops, uh, it's, it's gonna be finicky, but you, you do get a point. But I'm trying my best to show you, show you as best I can. Uh, all right. Um, so, oh, it's not, it's not a way in. Oh, it's jammed. Okay, there we go. 
you get the arm, just hold it right there. If I could get it like so, like that, I think. Wait, um, yeah, there we go. Okay, so I got the arm, so basically, you got that. Now, just oops, uh. Yeah, it's not a secure connection. This 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 part is not really a really secure connection. So it's like that. Now what you do is okay. While you're moving the arm, hold onto this this part here. So you uh okay, I got the arm out. Now you turn the arm inside out like that. Wait, I'm trying to see here. Sorry, give me a moment. Uh, turn the arm out. Just it's come out. Okay, come on. Okay, basically, okay, so it's like that. Now you get, get out of the way. Bring this forward. Uh, oops. Oh god, don't. I'm worried about breaking this thing. Uh. Okay, and then just. Oh, just put your arm like that, and then. Just like that. There you go. That's the arm something here. I'm trying my best to show it on camera because I'm trying to look in the manual and. Uh, trying my best to actually show you guys how it works, but you know, if you if you don't understand it, I'll try to do another video. Uh, I'll do a stop motion on this guy doing this the arm swimming gimmick, so you can find, guys can see it yourself. But yeah, that's that's the arm swimming gimmick. Now there is a difference between this arm, the original arm, and the new arm. So this original arm has a poly cap on the wrist, whereas for this this arm you have a plastic plastic joint. So the arm the hand is. More stiffer and more tighter, so it, it is good, especially if you if you don't want any of your weapons to fall off from your from the hand, because sometimes sometimes the uh, arm might pop, the hand might pop off on the, old, the original arm. But yeah, it works. So um, and it's, if in case you want, some of you guys were wondering, oops, put that back on. Yeah, because I, if you see my because you know this thing pops up really easily. But I'm saying, if you guys are wondering, can you actually put the uh, static arms onto the, onto the onto the actual arm? And the short answer is yes, but it's gonna be it's gonna it won't bend it will not bend. That that's the only thing. You can you can put it on, but it's not gonna bend. So the arms the will not bend. So yeah, that's about it for the gimmicks. Um, yeah, uh, it is finicky. Like I said, um, this arm holder. I mean, it it will hold on, but you have but the technical way of holding this arm is is to make sure you hold onto the arm the oh, the bicep while you put while you put the arm onto the actual will stop the arms. So yeah, that's about it for the gimmicks. Uh, so it's gonna take a little longer, but um, yeah, you know, you gotta drill. It's, it's 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 fun. It's fun. So that's pretty good. So yeah, for the gimmick, it's fun. Our uh, comparisons. Well, let's bring a regular side mostly. Well, I don't have the arc, so we need to compare it, but it is similar. The Amazing Red Warrior. It is crazy. Look at this. Like the silver bullet is damn big. When I built this model kit, I thought. Oh my god, how big is this guy? Alright, let's bring in another guy. You have to bring in this guy. You should, you should. You should come right in. The narrative. My god, I can tell this guy was gonna step on him. If this, if they were in a battle, I can tell right now. And I should bring in this guy as well, because the, he was the biggest guy. He was the, the biggest guy before this guy came. Snanji Stein. Look at that. It's really, really big. Like... I am surprised. I am shocked to see that. Okay, I thought the Sunday Sign is the biggest high in my collection, but no. Now we've got a new, we've got a new champion here. And you guys were wondering how big is it to a master grade, eh? Uh, let's bring in like a. I don't know. I'm not sure the regular size, but I have a one master grade here. The Buster Gundam. Yeah. Uh, okay. This is not as bad, but if I bring in, let's say, a Exia or like a Arc Seventy Eight, it will be about the same size as this guy, but. Um, yeah, they, if you, if I, if I were to show someone, like, who's not really into Gunpla, I, when I tell them, uh, are these guys the same, the same scale, and they, they, they would probably say yes, it's probably the same scale, but in reality, this is one to one, one four. this is a 1 to 100, so they can't really tell whether it's a hybrid or a master grade, if, if, from without a trained eye, really. But yeah, that's what a comparison is, well, this guy's here today, and I love, love it, I love it. Alright, just like any regular high rate was based off like some on a base kit, you just have several parts. And the silver bullet suppressor has a lot of level parts in this kit. Okay, so first of all, let's go to the G plate, which is well, this is from the Double Wolf. 
Uh, Volser stands for the arms because the Demon Wolf has like uh, funnel arms, if I put it that way. I'm not sure where that part goes. You get a D plate from the original. Uh, no, no. You get the D plate from the Unicorn Gun Destroyer mode, which you are using basically the uh, B Magnum parts. The rest are. Well, you can use, don't use them. But if you have a Unicorn Gun, you can always like. Uh, the basic parts is there worn out or something. Uh, the F plate, uh, again, you get a lot of different parts. Again, from the Dolphin Wolf. Uh, with the claw arms, with the elbow joints. Uh, I'm not sure where the parts go. I think these are the claw arms. Yep. You get a D plate, which is again from the double wolf. Uh, the bicep armor. You've got uh, you get one of the shoulder arm, uh, shoulder uh, what should I call it? The shoulder joints, which uh, one is, is using the left arm, but the right arm is a different, different, different one. Uh, that's the side thrusters. Uh, a plate again from the double wolf. I guess these are knee armor and some, some of the, and that I think I think that's that's the uh, what should I call it the. Uh, one part in the arms, I guess, and then you, the E one plate, which is from the silver bullet. You get you get the original silver bullet feet. You've got the I'm not sure where the part, this part goes. Um, you get the original beam rifle, which, which if, if you don't want to use the uh, uh, the beam man in the battle, means go ahead and use the uh, silver bullet ones, and you get the, sh the shield parts. So yeah, you get a bunch. You get a, a fair amount of different parts in this kit. So yeah, like I said. Uh, cu custom kit bash opportunities really, so that's pretty cool. Alright, that's a review of the high grade silver bullet suppressor. Now, what do I think of this kit? It's a very interesting build, and I've never seen a, a mobile suit have this gimmick where they have to swap out arms each time it fires a uh, shot on the on the B Magnum, which is, I mean, it's one of the most unique uh, gimmicks I've ever seen on the, uh, of a mobile suit so far. Now details wise, well, you get a lot of color separation in this kit, that's pretty good. Uh, I would have thought like the, like some parts of this kit will use stickers, but no, they are plastic pieces, that's pretty good. Articulation, well, the upper body is good, the legs, and the, the waist and legs, not so much. Um, I would say uh, if the knees would bend a little better, that, then this kit would be good in articulation. But other than that, uh, especially if you see right now, um, the kneel the kneeling pose, which uh, I had to cheat a little bit because I, I have to use like a uh, something proper with the knee, so you can do this pose properly. But um, other than that, if you want to do the kneeling pose, uh, you might need to fill around with it until you get to, just to find a sweet spot. Um, the accessories, well, the only accessory you get is the, for the weapons wise is basically the beam magnum, and that's what it is. I think that's all we. I think that's all it really needs to be very honest. But uh, for some people, it might be a little bit uh, plain. But some people think we'll, we'll like, you know, probably give some, something other than just a beam magnum to this kit. But like I said, the beam magnum is perfectly fine with me. And it, it comes with beam sabers, but no beams. So uh, if you want to give a beam sabers, then go and get some 100 beams and give this kit. Uh, the gimmick, the main gimmick, which is basically the uh, arm gimmick, is damn cool. I really, really like this arm gimmick. Uh, though, if, if, if there's one thing I want to say that's not good with this gimmick, it's basically the arm, the, the arm that's holding the, the uh, arm. I mean the, the swapping the mechanism and holding the, the the spare arms. Uh, that I wish it could hold a little bit tighter, but I, but I think, I think it's supposed to be like that because well it, it mentioned in the manual that you're supposed to hold the arm while you swap it out, so it makes sense. Overall, do I recommend this kit for twenty eight seven hundred twenty seven hundred yen? I can't remember twenty seven hundred yen. Um, it is a little bit expensive, but yes, but you're getting a big kit. You're getting a lot of plastic in the kit, and it I see it is definitely worth the purchase. Um, unless you don't like the design of the, um, the silver bullet suppressor, or if, if you find this, uh, that arm game is stupid, then yes, make a pass on this. But other than that, if, if you think this kit is cool to have, then yes, go for it. Overall, interesting and fun kit. That's all right, guys. Thank you guys for watching this review, and stay tuned for more videos. Peace out.